Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to solve equations in 15 seconds or less without writing a lot. Please remember that the inverse of plus is minus, inverse of minus is plus, inverse of times is divide, opposite of divide is times, opposite of squaring something is square rooting it, the opposite of a square root is a square that you should know from your inverses in equations. Please remember the writing I'm doing is just for explanation purposes. You're going to do all that in your head. This the heading here would say solve for x. That means we've got to get this x alone. So you need to understand that the rule that I use is you move the stuff away from x, furthest guy first. First, I'm going to set out how the sum was put together. We took x and we times it by 2. Then we minus 4 and we got 8. So now we're going to solve for x by doing the inverses of all these operations. So I'm going to take my 8, doing the opposite of minus 4, which is plus 4, which will give me 12. And then I will divide by 2, because I times by 2, and that will give me 6. So x is 6. Remember, you don't write these steps. You just say I do the opposite of minus 4, so I plus 4, and then I divide by 2. Here is our next equation. First, going to say how it is put together. We first took the x and times it by 3, then we minus 1, and then we times everything by 2, and we got 10. I just set it out for you. I said we took the x, we times it by 3, then we minus 1, and then we times it by 2. Now we're going to solve for x by going backwards with the inverses all the time. So I take the 10, I do the opposite of times 2, so I divide by 2, which is 5. Then I do the opposite of minus 1, which is plus 1, which will then give me 6. Then I do the opposite of times 3, so I divide that by 3, and it gives me 2. Like I said, we don't write any of this. We just immediately divide by 2, which is 5, plus 1, which is 6, divide by 3, which is 2. Here is our next example, and like I said, we're going to move this stuff away from x. Furthest guy first. So the 5 is the closest, then the minus 3 is second closest, then the 2 is the furthest away, and then the 11 is quite on the other side. I first set it out, how it was put together. We took x, then we times it by 5, then after that we minus 3, then we divided all of that by 2, and we got ourselves the 11. We're now going to solve for x by doing the inverse operations. We take the 11, and because we divide it by 2, we're now going to times 2, which is 22. And then, because we minus 3, we're going to plus 3, which is 25. And then, because we times by 5, we divide by 5, which is going to be 5. I say again, this part we're not going to do, it's just the way you think. So you're going to move the stuff away from x, furthest guy first. We're going to first move the 2, divide, I'm going to times. Take away the minus 3, plus the 3, and then divide by 5, and I'll have my answer x is equal to 5. Here is another one of that examples. I've got to solve for x. So 3 is the closest, then the plus 2, then the 8, and then of course the 1 is on the other side. So the 8 is going to go first, then the plus 2 with its inverse, and then the 3 with its inverse. Just to understand what we're going to do in our minds, I set out how the sum was put together. We took x, we times it by 3, then we plus 2, and after that, we divided by 8 everything, and we got 1. So we're going to go backwards now, and then solve for x. So now we take the 1, and because we divided by 8, we times by 8, which is going to give us 8. Then because we plus by 2, we're going to minus by 2, which is going to give me 6. And then because we times by 3, we're going to divide by 3, which is going to give us 2. Again, I say, if you want to solve for x in an equation like this, you move the stuff away from x, furthest guy first. Because there's a divide, I'm going to times by 8, then I'm going to minus by 2, and then I'm going to divide by 3. Here is the last equation of this video. Like I said, we're going to solve for x. So we're going to move the stuff away from x, furthest guy first. Let's first see how this thing was put together. We took the x, then we squared it. After that, we plus the 7. After that, we square rooted all of it. After that, we minus 1. And then we got the 3. Now we're going to go backwards to solve for x. 
So we take this 3, and because we minus, we plus 1 to it, which gives us 4. And then, because we square rooted, we're now going to square that 4, which is going to give us 16. And then, because we plus 7, we're now going to minus 7. That will give us 9. And then, because we squared, we're now going to square root the 9, and that's going to give us 3. When you draw a square root in an equation, important that there's a plus and minus 3 that comes out. We're not going to do that now. We're just going to write x equals to 3. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. And underneath this video, indicate whether you liked or disliked this video. In the comment bar at the bottom, please let us know if there's anything that you want explained about maths grade 1 to grade 12 that you're not sure about. And we will make a small video for you within the next seven days. You can also send an SMS with a request to the cell number or a small request to this email address. Your request will benefit many people that might be too shy to ask. And it is totally for free.